makes you grow as a person. Change is the only constant. I love change. Change is always a great idea. Change is something that I wish that I was better at. Um, it's a tricky phenomenon as it's um, you know, a fundamental part of life, yet something that most of us feel that we would want to be better at. Um, and yeah, it's about living life. And now it's time for me to introduce my model. And now it's showtime. Here comes six tips on how you as a manager can communicate effectively with your employees. And now let me introduce you to the model that I have created for this exam, the change model. Each letter in the word change represents different elements that are important to consider when communicating with your colleagues. Cultural artifacts is the first element of the model. The core message of cultural artifacts is that in order to be a successful manager, you need to create new cultural artifacts or modify the existing ones so that they can support the new strategy. If you do not manage to communicate the new cultural artifacts in a change process, you build in barriers to failure. Why? Because existing cultural artifacts support the old strategy, not the new one. Here comes five different categories of cultural artifacts. Key values and norms, myths and sagas, language systems and metaphors, symbols, rituals and ceremonies, and finally, physical surroundings. High and by is the second element. Did you know that it generally takes seven seconds for a new employee to judge you? This implicates that an employee can create an impression of you as a leader even before you speak. Furthermore, Scholar Friedman claims that 7% of the message we receive when interacting with another person comes from the actual words. 38% is from tone and voice, and the remaining 55% accounts for the visuals, such as eye contact, posture of the communicator, etc. In my model, high and by means that you as a manager need to make a good impression on your employees from the moment you say hi to them in the morning until you say bye in the afternoon. Here are three examples of places that you might not have thought about as important communication spots with your employees. When heating your food in the microwave. When parking your car in the parking lot. Or waiting for the coffee machine to brew your coffee. To act as a role model is also important when communicating with your employees. Many scholars such as Payne, Gilla Gilly and McKillen suggest that acting as a role model for your employees is crucial for implementing an effective and successful change. Employees typically look first to their immediate manager for guidance on how to act in uncertain situations, such as a change process, and it is consequently highly important that you act upon your own communication and set a great example for your employees. Here is a practical example of how you as a manager should not act. For example, you might communicate to your employees that you from now on want everyone to fly in economy class to cut costs. And then what happens if you... Fly business class yourself? No. In order to gain your employees' trust, we need to rewind. This is how you do it. You use the exact same communication, which was... From now on, I want everyone to fly in economy class to cut costs.
Simply act as you want your employees to act. Fly economy class. Nurture emotions is the fourth element. Emotions that accompany change are natural and useful adjunct to change. Consequently, you as a manager should encourage your employees to show emotions, since this can function as an important indicator for you on your employees' current state of mind and degree of alignment with the change process. Here are some practical examples on how you can nurture your employees' emotions. Have an ongoing awareness of your employees' emotional states. Monitor the emotional reactions of your employees. In that way, you will better know how to adapt your communication the next time you communicate with them. Gain trust is the fifth element. Another thing that you as a manager need to do in order to effectively communicate change to your employees is to make sure that you have gained their trust. To fully be able to interpret your communication, the employee need to trust you. Trust furthermore enable resilience and openness to change. Kimberly and Hurdle mean that there are three specific elements that can help you gain the trust of your employees. The first one is integrity. Make sure to be honest and never manipulative. Benevolence. The will to do good for your employees. And finally, ability. Employees are more likely to trust you if you can communicate that you have the ability to successfully implement change. We have now reached the end of the model and the sixth and final element of the model is empower your employees. Make sure that you empower your employees to empower themselves. Do not solemnly try to empower them yourself. Employees need to feel empowered in order to fully interpret your communication and thus align with the change. And here comes four practical examples on how you can do it. Give power to the ones that demonstrate responsibility. Create a favorable environment where your employees feel encouraged. Do not second guess your employees' decisions and ideas unless it is absolutely necessary. And finally, provide discretion and autonomy for your employees. Thank you so much for listening to this tutorial. Just to sum it up a little bit, I have today presented a model for you on important aspects to think about when communicating change to your employees. The model consists of six elements each element representing one letter in the word change. So first we had culture artifacts, high and by, act as a role model, nurture emotions, gain trust, and finally empower your employees. If you follow these guidelines, I'm sure you will improve your communication skills with your employees.